Buenos Tardes, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Look, in a menudo style and direct fashion, we're going to get straight into the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding. Put your notification bell on all, so that way you're directing the direction of the dope content I'm kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel, and it's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very, very humbled, man, and very much so appreciative. So thank you. Um, I wanted to touch on this uh, this matter just real quick because um, it was brought to my attention. And I noticed something. I noticed something, and I may be way off, but I noticed eh, something that makes me think this could be a complete hoax, right? It could be someone out there fishing or basically someone out there throwing things out there just to antagonize a situation. So we all know um, that Norteños are not welcome in Southern California, right? Especially in the city of LA. Um, there ain't no love for the Norte down there, man. I mean, hey, I guess if you check in, I guess if you uh, tap in with the right people, um, it's all good. But for the most part, lately what's been going on on the scene is Norteños are not welcome. They're not, um, you know, they're not. there's not going to be no red carpet laid out there for them, okay? Now, with Norteños pulling up to No Jumper, they did that. There's no denying it. They hey, made the presence felt. They showed up. They did their interviews. And there was a lot of back and forth shit and a lot of people saying, well, no one knew when they were popping up. You know, these were all pre-recorded. It wasn't like they announced it. They let anyone know their location. They dropped an addy. Nothing like that. So, you know, that pretty much didn't count. You know, as far as the Norteños side, everything counts. In life, every move you make is cold calculated and counts. On the southern side, I could understand the argument that, hey, you vatos didn't let your presence be known to after you were gone, to after there was no way to get at you. And, you know, <clears throat> I understand about gangbanging. I understand about that a lot, man. I was involved at a high level. And I can tell you, um, it irks you or disappoints you or pisses you the fuck off when someone comes in your backyard um, that you wouldn't necessarily allow in your backyard. And there's nothing you can do about it. I think I think the, the 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 punctuation mark was bands pulling up to Lefty Gunplay's neighborhood and filming a music video there and basically tagging it and disrespecting it. You know, Vatos got highly highly upset, and you know, the city of Los Angeles they rock. They have always rocked. They always have been political and have done things their way. You know, that's the mecca and the capital of gangbanging. Let's just keep it real, and. They don't allow the disrespect of their city. Um, they lay demos down. It's always been like that, and it will continue to be like that. It's just Los Angeles. If you know, you know. You know, I lived in, in the Los Angeles area, incarcerated in Whittier, you know, um, Southeast LA for over three years. And I can tell you right now, them vatas from LA that I did time with, they were really about their LA business, you know, um, so they didn't allow us to just walk freely around there. We had to earn every grain of sand and, and, and we had to fight for our daily bread. And that's just what it was. But there's some shit going around that was posted that Asito, a rapper from Stockton, from Stockton, California, a Norteño, was going to do a concert, has an upcoming tour, a California tour coming up where I think he's hitting Merced, Seaside, Madero, Modesto. And it seemed like the only Southern California city that was on there was Los Angeles. Now, with all this back and forth with Lefty Gunplay and all these other rappers going on, this is a very dangerous time to be announcing a concert as a Norteño in Southern California. You know, there's been many a times that Valto from the South have pulled up to Northern California to do concerts. And it hasn't always been uh, uh, cookies and cream. Their cookie got crumbled. There's been plenty of times... People like Little Rob and Kid Frost and Lighter Shade of Brown and other California, Southern California rappers have pulled up up north and it's gotten tricky very fast. It's gotten ugly. So I can only expect, you know, someone the caliber of Asito to go to Southern California. Um, it's going to get tricky or it could get tricky. You know, my advice would be it's not worth it. It's not worth the money. It's not worth the, the antagonizing of people because people will take it as disrespect. Um, again, that, that, that guy right there, man, he's going to do what he does. 
And from everything that I've heard and I've seen on the internet, you know, Asito moves smooth. Now, here's one thing I will say. Asito has not been involved in the back and forth, the disrespect between the North and South. He is just doing his music and doing his thing, man, and doesn't feel, um, I guess, the threat that is really out there. Now, every time I go to Los Angeles, my shit's on swivel. Not because I feel like the Southsiders or Sureños want to get at me or people are tripping like that. It's because that's L.A. and gangbanging is real and everybody's tripping off of everybody. Vario versus Vario, hood versus hood. That's how it's always been. It's very tricky. And if you don't know how to maneuver around the city of L.A., you're going to learn or you're going to learn fast, right? Um, but I think this is a hoax. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. If you look what I posted right after my intro before this video, I posted the actual poster that was put out there on social media, I think on Instagram, that said that there was going to be a concert. What's mysterious to me is that if you're going to LA, why not pull up to San Diego? If you're going to LA, why not pull up to the IE? Why is LA the only Southern California city targeted for this concert? Also, if you look on the bottom of that poster, it says address to be announced. Date and address time to be announced. Address ain't even spelled right. So either whoever's making these posters is illiterate as a motherfucker, right? Or this is something made by a youngster or something thrown out there just to antagonize the situation that is already overboiling. Okay? There's been, since bands pulled up to Lefty's neighborhood, which is confirmed, he did that facts. There's been rumors that Lefty took a cruise through Santa Rosa and was hunting or looking, you know, for anyone to which a video was put out there. That was kind of debunked. From everything I'm hearing, Lefty never went to Santa Rosa or wasn't pulling up with those type of intentions. But people will antagonize the situation. The so-called wannabe gang members, not the real ones, functioning inside and outside of them walls that are really doing it um, at a respectful and a high level. But the little youngsters that internet bang and bump baking soda breath over keyboards, those are the type of dudes that will constantly go back and forth. Um, there was a concert that was supposed to go down in Atwater. And I caught some heat because of that, because of the video I made. But at the end of the day, um, I was never in a space to where I didn't want that concert to happen. I could care less. I was more so in a space that I just wanted everyone to come out in a safe environment. And that, if that concert did happen, you know, uh, that being from my area, I know my area well. And I know for a fact, man, um, Vaultos in my area, in the Central Valley, they move differently. And they just cannot allow people to establish and, and have some type of um, concert, opposition style concert and disrespect Northanios. It just doesn't happen in that area quite often, right? Now, one thing I will say for sure is whatever materialized to get that concert uh, uh, to not happen, I think more so had to do with these little groups, internet groups of gangbangers that actually go on the internet and go back and forth. They form these group chats, these live link group chats, and they're all disrespectful. You know, I've seen some on the northern side, some on the southern side, where it's just constant disrespecting of the other side, disrespecting of each other, wolfing back and forth. And it does remind me of the live links era. It reminds me of the, or, or what was it, uh, live lines. When people used to call in and just disrespect, man, I'm done knocking a gang of tortas off the live links, right? But I'm just saying, that's what it was. Um... But when you're putting out there, so that's what I think happened with the Atwater situation. I believe those were the first ones to alert, you know, get the, the authorities alerted to that situation. And ultimately, man, it got the show got canceled. Um, and I don't think a show with Asito is going to come out um, smooth in Los Angeles. And I don't think it's really going to happen. I think somebody made this poster up. Now, I've seen that they said Asito dropped it on his own Instagram saying, hey, you know, the pull-up is real and this is and that. I don't know that to be true. You know, I'm not trusting everything I read and see on the internet anymore just based off, you know, people are smutting each other up at a high, um, an AI level, a different level. You can't trust anything anymore. There's too many shenanigans being played. The game is definitely not watered down, but murky like mud. That's how it is. You know, um, everyone's trying to one-up someone. Everyone's trying to be the one up top. Um, and I'll tell you right now, it's a dangerous situation when you're playing with real lives, when you're playing with real venues, when you're playing with real business, it becomes an ugly situation. Now, do I think Asito has the balls and, and the stamina to pull up to Los Angeles? Absolutely. 
You know, I watched him not even a month ago catch a one-on-one -on -one fade in broad daylight with an op and handle his business, right? Um, so there is no scariness in that guy. He's cut from a different cloth. He reminds me of an, of an old soul, a youngster that has an old soul that is with the program and, and is willing to fucking make sacrifices for that program. But pulling up to Los Angeles and letting everybody know is more so a trolling move. It's more so a disrespectful move. So you're automatically disrespecting off top. Not that you can't co go anywhere in the world that you want to go because everybody can move however they want to move and go wherever they want to go. But more so, I'm seeing it as a situation where people are feeling like, hey, bro, are you trying to fucking, are you trying to clown? Are you trying to, you know, and it, like I said, it shows nothing but Northern California cities on that poster and then, you know, LA. And they made sure that Los Angeles stood out. You know, um, whoever made this, if it is a hoax, if they're just doing this to uh, get attention, clout, or clown the city of Los Angeles, it's not a good look. It's definitely not a good look because you're making a dangerous situation for Asito and you're making it a dangerous situation for anyone who would go to this concert. See, I hate the situations that put people that are not even involved in the streets like that. You know, there's people that support music. And they support going out with their old lady and having a good time and just enjoying some entertainment. And then they enjoy going home to their bed and boning their old lady. And then they enjoy waking up the next morning. Okay. But it's always a situation where you can't do that because you're going to pull up to what you think is just a, a concert and having a good time. And then things happen. And next thing you know, you don't wake up the next morning. You don't have an ear like Donald Trump. Some bad doesn't happen to your old lady. Some bad happened to you. And you didn't even know what the fuck it was all about. You know, innocent bystanders and civilians always seem to be the ones that get shot or get caught up in situations like this. You know, I believe, honestly, that this is a trolling thing that's going on. Um, but there's a lot of people speaking on it um, in social media right now. Like, damn, Asif was pulling up to L.A. Now what? Now what? Now what? I mean, what is that supposed to prove? You know, uh, Conejo pulled up to Northern California uh, several other rappers pulled up to Northern California and there was no now what? There was respect. Okay? I just don't think... I think Valtas in Los Angeles um, feel disrespected at this point. I talked to a couple dudes that I fuck with and they said, ain't no, ain't no way a Norteño's gonna pull up and have a big old concert, bro, or any type of concert and there ain't gonna be a Southerner presence. Right? So, you know, demos get laid down in LA every day. You know, so I, I can't understand why people would say, hey, I'm going down south and it's all good. It's all groovy. It's all cool. Unless this Volta checked in and, and, and got the blessings of certain people, certain groups, then I could understand that. And then there ain't nothing individuals can do about it. Because if you step on the wrong toes, you crack the wrong toenails, uh, it's going to be your toenail, toenail crack next. Right. So I could see that happening. But I quite uh, I don't think that's the case. I think this is more so just throwing it out there and trolling at this point. Um, but I could be totally wrong. Again, that doesn't mean the Norteños don't wiggle or don't move around L.A. Because they pull up. They pull up for business meetings. They pull up for uh, um, entertainment purposes or whatever. But I've never seen it announced like this. Like, hey, this is part of my world tour. When, and, that, and this is the tricky part of being considered a Northern California rapper or a Southern California rapper is that you can't move like that. See, you can't move like that. See, people like Burner... Uh, baby bash people that get respect from all sides they're able to wiggle wherever they want to go and it's all love you know because they don't represent a street gang or they don't represent a certain organization or they don't represent a side they represent the raza they represent their music they represent hip-hop so they're able to move like that okay but you can't ha uh, be a gang member one day and a rapper the next you are what you are and that's what you is because that's how it is so um just by analyzing that poster and that post, I think it's fake, man. Honestly, and correct me if I'm wrong, you know, there's going to be a lot of people, oh, gun, you're just hating. I'm not hating. If the Bata wants to pull up down south, more power to him. Respects on that one, eh? You know, um, definitely respects. But look at the font. Look at the, the blurriness on it. Look at the, the misspelled word address on the bottom. And that leads me to believe this, like I said, it was either someone that can't spell worth shit, worth dog shit, right? And I ain't talking Fresno, I'm talking straight dog shit. Or it's literally a youngster playing games with the internet 
and trying to get people to continue to go back and forth and fight. That's how it usually is. There's always a catalyst. There's always one person or two people that will antagonize the situation, lie, scheme, do whatever they have to do because they think it's funny. But see, they go to sleep at night because they don't leave out of the house. They they chill. They get to go to bed and, and laugh. Aha, that was fun while it lasts. And then they get back to playing Nintendo while real motherfuckers that are in the streets are feeling some type of way. Okay? And it's a, it's that easy to manipulate people. You know, I could put a, make a poster right now and say, hey, Lefty Gunplay's pulling up to Merced and have everyone in the neighborhood mad than a motherfucker. This fool ain't going to come over here with that zesty shit, right? They could be, you know, that's just how it is. When at the end of the day, anyone, that's why social media is such a dangerous thing. Um, because anyone could say anything to anyone and not show their face or hide. Or you could become anyone you want to be on the internet. It's unfortunate, but that's what we have to deal with. You know, it's really exposing gang members. It's really exposing barrios and hoods because it's, you know, they're showing and pinpointing every flaw and every, every bad move, um, that any gang member makes, you know, that back in the days, oh shit, I tripped. They, he's a good, he's a good. No one's looking right nowadays. Oh, someone's looking. They done got you recorded. And next thing you know, fucking you're getting all, you're getting called all types of bubbles and shit. It's just crazy. You know, I seen a, a, a short. Earlier, I was laughing, man. It was funny, but at the same time, it was disrespectful. And it was a lefty gunplay licking an ice cream cone and then cruising through what was supposedly supposed to be Bands' neighborhood, right? But people don't tell you the real background of this. Oh, they got the, the licking the ice cream cone and making funny sounds and trying to insinuate that he's got some tendencies or whatever, right? But what they failed to tell you is he was actually, that video was actually him and his child having an ice cream, you know, him playing with his child, making memories with his kid, being a father. They don't tell you that. They just utilize his personal video to make it into some weird shit. It's unfortunate. That's how it is, man. It's why in the social media era, man, you have to move smooth with a purpose. You got to keep your shit on swivel because everyone, paparazzi jumping out the park on your ass, right? They're out the bushes. So anyways, um, I just wanted to touch on this, this uh, situation with Asito pulling up to LA. And if it's true and he does, then he does. If you notice, it says the address will will be available to who it's available to and um, dates and times and all that. Usually when that shit's like that, it's very secretive, you know. Um, but you got Northern California rappers up north in Santa Cruz getting smoked up out of the um, out of the concert, you know, getting the concert shut down. Um, you got Northerners in uh, what was it? Fucking, I think, Utah. Or Yakima, Washington, excuse me, that pulled up to a concert, man, and, and it got shut down. You had Southerners that were planning a concert in Atwater, and that got shut down. Right now, I don't think it's a good a good look to antagonize the mecca of gangbanging Los Angeles and just think that you can go in there and perform and it's all good. But I know that these guys are prepared. Norteños move, and if they don't move alone, right, that's the buddy system. So just imagine, for instance, if he does decide to go play in a venue in L.A., which, like I said, man, if, if, if he did, respects for that. He's going to bring his crew. He's going to bring his homeboys. And even if it's not a disrespectful thing and he's just going to perform a couple songs, it becomes gangbanging because now you don't brought your homeboys into the area. Now you pose a threat or, 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 or you're shitting in our backyard. And so it just gets ugly. We already seen how a lot of Southsiders were feeling just about Norteños pulling up to the No Jumper podcast. I mean, I don't like No Jumper for a whole different reason. It has nothing to do with gangbanging. It has more so to do with I don't want people to get indicted or some weird shit, right? Um, but it has nothing to do with with a city or a town. I believe everyone should be able to go everywhere. And uh, as long as they move in a respectful tip, then it's a blessing, right? But uh, anyways, I don't know. I just think it's a hoax, man. That's just my opinion on it. I think either that or that fucking concert poster was not well made. And they need to get back to the fucking cutting board or the drawing board and uh, fire Fire the guy who did that font because not only does that font sucks, but it's uh it's misspelled, eh? <laughs> you know? Anyways, with that being said, let me know what you think. Do you think that's a smart move to pull up to Los Angeles? Do you think hey it doesn't matter? Um, I know this, man, as a past Norteño, Norteños move how they want to move, and that's just what it is. They don't have to answer to no man um but whoever their channel is, and that's just how that goes, right? Um But again, Southern California don't fuck around. You know, you just ain't gonna pull up in their backyard unnoticed. They're about to see it all. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people, north and south. 
brown people. Look, tell me this. Leave a comment. Let me know. Do you think this was a hoax? Do you think people are playing games? They're just trying to keep this fucking disrespect going back and forth lit? Or do you think he's really going to pull up and have a concert? If he does, so I'd like to see some film on it. And I'd like to see, you know, what's going on in there. Um, and hopefully, if it does happen, um, that everyone goes home safe, man. You know, that's what I implore to you. Safety, precautions, security, safety and security. And that's that, man. This is the gun. Bang, bang.